I'd never heard your name before this morning Heard it was sudden You came with no warning I wish I knew you Made you feel you had a place to go my name is John Fitzgerald, and uh, I'm a letterpress printer uh, here in New Orleans. My shop is called Fitzgerald Letterpress. Been around, oh, I don't know, five, six years. The first print experience I had, my sisters went to a good high school that had a good art department, and my oldest sister came home from school with a linoleum block print. And I remember seeing that and thinking that was pretty cool and I'd like to try that. And you know, and it, that's a linoleum block printing is something that uh, is pretty accessible and I could do it at home and that's when I started it. I was, I was drawn to it, uh, interested in it. There's really two things that I do. One is I basically make a living doing custom jobs for, for clients. So somebody will want a wedding invitation done. And then I'm, you know, I'm motivated by pleasing the customer and, and doing a good job. I also still do uh, art prints, linoleum block prints that I usually combine with type. Uh, and uh, there's a long tradition of, uh, of uh, graphic artists who are looking to uh, make social statements. I think my main inspiration in the field was a woodblock artist, an illustrator by the name of Antonio Frasconi. There's a lot of planning, a lot of preparation that goes into it. Uh, but there's a moment when the first print comes off the press. There's a moment when the first good one, you know, the, so after all that work and adjusting and making it happen and then I pull the first sheet off the press and I look at it and I go, okay. It, it, there's sort of a click. It's something that happens and it goes, okay, this is good. And until I get to that moment of when it clicks, uh, there's a lot of anxiety and frustration, rah, 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 but then it comes and it's like, oh, that's nice. That moment I love. As the digital design came to dominate the graphics world, it sort of created a hunger or a niche for graphic expression where the hand of the artist or the hand of the designer was really in it. Uh, there's a coldness to digital design. The, sometimes the tools, so powerful the tools are that they kind of drive the design. Because I can do it this way, then I'm inclined to do it this way. And it leads to a colder, sort of less humanist design. And that sort of created, it created a, a hunger for for that work, for the sort of the, the imperfections, for the life that is available only by a, a handmade object. Letterpress printing was the mainstream dominant way everything was printed until like World War II era, 19, by by the 60s, it was obsolete. Uh, and then about in the 80s, in the 90s, it was rediscovered in its vintage for its qualities, for its handmade qualities and that niche of letterpress printing, similar to the way that uh, books are. 